Hey, Gifted Crafters, welcome back for another Saturday Crafter Noon. Thank you all for tuning in today. I am tuning in from, I usually say sunny South Florida, but we are having a lot of stormy weather, so a lot of crackling going on out there. It is a really stormy, rainy day, but it's a great day to be in your craft room doing all kinds of fun things. So if you're tuning in for the first time, my name is Nancy with Gifts HQ, and I put these just weekly live sessions to talk about all things crafting, from sewing, knitting, crocheting, decoupage, and so much more. I like to t kind of dabble on all types of different crafts and just kind of, you know, give you some tips, tricks, ideas. Maybe you've got a um, little craft show coming up. Maybe you have an Etsy shop. Um, there are all kinds of things that we talk about. So feel free to jump into the chat, say hello to some friends, share some tips, tricks, and ideas, and we're just going to have a lot of fun. So let me just jump in and say hello to a couple of friends that I see out there. I see Amy Bullis, Crafting with Robin, Donna Phillips, Jackie Hallman, Jenny Owens, Judy Bauer, One Minute Tips, Robin's Quilt Basket, Sassy, Yvonne Hudson, Amberico Sewing and Crafts, Making with Marilyn, and I think I got everyone. I'm not sure, it's kind of moving kind of fast, so it's a little hard to keep track. But thank you all again for tuning in and I really hope you have a lot of fun today. So I am back in my sewing studio. Last week we were in Lakeland, Florida, where I attended the Sewing and Quilting Expo and it was just a ton of fun. I did tune in from my hotel. We did the best we could in terms of lighting and sound and everything. We were kind of doing this from the hotel room and I just couldn't wait to show you some of the notions and things that I saw. So I did take a lot of pictures and videos and I'm excited to share those with you today and we're just going to talk through some of the things and I'm going to give you a little bit more in detail information about what I've seen there and things that um, were happening. So um, I hope you guys really enjoy this. So we put together um, some of the stuff and I'll just kind of go through it. And let's see. Um, so we're gonna go ahead, we're gonna start this thing off and let's start off showing the pictures. I'm gonna show you a couple things in between. So we'll kind of just kind of show it and stop it and talk about it and then we'll kind of continue on so i hope that's okay and hopefully everything in terms of the technology world out there is in our favor today um but before i do that i see donna got a new brother sewing machine i was reading through the chat earlier and congratulations donna that's awesome i can't wait to see all of the wonderful things you make i'm so glad I was able to inspire you to get a machine and you're just going to love it. I, I guarantee you're going to love it. It's just so therapeutic, so much fun. There's so much you can learn and there's so many things that you can make, whether you're selling it or giving it as a gift. I'm sure you are going to love it. And hopefully today will be a little bit more inspiration to kind of show you guys all the other wonderful things that are out there. There's just so many gifted crafters that are out there that really, truly make amazing things out there. And I want to just kind of point out a couple of things that maybe you may not have noticed or may not have even known that was out there. So I'm going to do my best to um, just show this to you guys. So let's get right to it. Um, if we can go ahead, I'm going to grab some of my notes here. And I did make some notes on my notebook as I was attending the expo, just so I can keep track of some of this stuff. So the very first item that you can see here, it's called, it's a quilt that is from the Tampa Modern Quilts Guild. And this one is called Oh Honey, and it is by Gail, and I'm not sure if I'll say this name right, Texiera. Now she, um, for each, quilt that they had um, kind of hanging. It had a little informational card on there. So I was able to jot down a couple of things. So um, from what I read, it said that she used the Creative Grids 60 degree ruler. And this quilt was designed by Krista Monstero and she used hexagon shapes. 
So I thought it was really beautiful. A nice display of different colors. You have the black and the white and then that yellow just kind of pops out at you. And I like how she used the different fabrics to kind of also give it that little interest as you're looking in it. It's not just a bunch of hexagons. You know, some of them have borders and the, and the different fabrics that she chose really make it kind of pop. So I thought that was really nice. And again, that's from the Tampa Modern Quilters Guild. And let's see. Now this one I thought was really cool. I know I kind of I've dabbled a little bit with these tumbling blocks. So this is called the Tumbling Block Quilt. And this is by Sylvia Howard. And she got the pattern by So Easy with Sandy. And she was using the Y shape in order to put this together. I love how the black and white falls out. And then she kind of throws in that little splash of color in there that really just sparks it and makes it gives you a little bit of that visual interest when you're looking at that so i just thought that was really amazing it's fun how you can kind of turn it um if you kind of turn your head and look at it going the other way they look like little diamonds going across so it's pretty neat how you can kind of just move the quilt a certain way and the entire dynamic of the quilt changes like it really just brings it to life you know there's so many different things that you can do to really see that but you know kudos on this one because the point placement on this is super important in order to get that 3d effect look and i think she did an outstanding job so kudos to her on that and here's just another one that was beside it now this one i i it's one of my favorites. Um, I love the butterflies. This one is called Butterfly Dance and it's by Brooke Miller. And I love the embroidery on here. It's really, really stunning. The way the butterfly is kind of like has this green little swirls underneath it, kind of like it's taking off and leaving this behind. So I like the placement that she made on each of these because it makes it non-directional so like you can really turn the quilt any way that you want and you kind of it doesn't seem like it's upside down like the butterflies are just kind of scattered everywhere so it doesn't matter how you place the quilt so i thought that was really really cute the way she kind of put that together and i love that kind of lime greenish border it really kind of made it pop i thought that was really pretty Okay, so you can see that here. It's kind of a, a longer view of the entire quilt. I thought that was really pretty. I mean, it really does pop, yeah. Now, these are some other... Um, these are coming, like, from the vendors now. So these were, like, little kits that you could purchase. I thought these little nutcrackers were really super cute. I love the way they had them displayed and they kind of lined, lined them up in a row. So it was really neat. But I thought that was a really cute display there. And these are just some more that um, as I was kind of walking along, I love the flowers, the way they kind of pop. Some of these, I mean, just the time that it took for them to put these together. And they, I thought they, these were just amazing. Now, some of these were in like, con they had different contests going on and stuff, um, but some were not and they just kind of had them hanging there and I thought they were very very pretty some of them you could buy as a kit to make um but you know I thought they were just stunning and and worth to mention for you guys so you can see them now this I just thought was really cute um there was a booth that was selling little fat quarters so for you guys that do like little craft shows and stuff if you're selling like fat quarters and things you can think about how you're displaying the fat quarter. Now, usually they kind of just stack them up together and put a little, you know, ribbon on it. These people took the time to kind of fold them and they made it into a little star shape. And so it created that visual interest. So that may draw people over to your booth and make them want to buy the fat quarter because you can kind of see all of the colors that are in that fat quarter. So I thought that was a really cute idea and just you know creates that visual interest that'll draw people over to you so it'll be a better chance of you getting to sell some of that stuff now these were lots of fun these are paper piecing projects 
And I just love paper piecing. It's just so much fun to do. If you haven't tried it, you really have to give it a try. There's just amazing stuff that you can make. And I'll show a little bit later some of the really big projects that are just stunning. Um, these are just some smaller ones. So they're like beginner friendly, lots of fun to do. And, you know, you can really get into it with these. Like you can make these as like pot holders. You can put them together and do table runners. Like there's just so many different things you can do with it. I thought that was a cute one. This I thought was really pretty. They had the, one of the vendors had all of the kits that you could buy from them and they were all kind of floral but the way they displayed it they kind of put it out on the rows out to display and so it really gave you a nice view of everything that they had available and it was really nice to just see them all there in one shot absolutely stunning and even if you wanted to kind of just do each one and then put these together as like one big quilt I thought that was amazing like it's really gorgeous like the flowers the virtual the interest the visual interest that you can get and the coordination of how you put these together into one you can make it just one big quilt or you can keep it individual you can do it as table runners i mean it's stunning wall hangings just in itself is gorgeous so really really beautiful the way they put these together paper piecing i mean it's just so 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 much fun this one I just thought was stunning. I love this quilt. I mean, the colors were just amazing. The way it kind of blends together and almost at the same time it kind of pops. This one was quilted with feathers. So they did the feather quilting and that is just gorgeous the way they did that. I mean, the detail. I don't know if the picture really does it a lot of justice, but this quilt had so much detail to it if you really take a good look at the feathering that they did I mean it it really just makes it amazing I just thought it was absolutely beautiful now this one was a lot of fun so these are just some of the um other vendors that they had one of them had some mylar stuff um, I did purchase one of them and I'll show that one to you in a little bit, but this one I thought was really cute. They were just little sewing, antique sewing machines, kind of, you can put them as little blocks or you can make it as a quilt. I thought it was really cute. You can't see the mylar so much in the picture, but it does have a little bit of that shine and glitter. Um, maybe it, it probably would have been better to take this at an angle, I guess, but it was really, really cute. I thought it was a, a nice little display. And here's some of the other ones. These are also Mylar as well. And especially the one on the top, the season greetings, that one really popped with the Mylar. Really, really gorgeous the way it stood out. Um, the love, I didn't see the Mylar on that one. I think that one was just plain um, embroidery on that one. But these were all from a vendor called Pearly Gates. And they have absolutely beautiful patterns that you can buy online as well. This is some that they had hanging as like um, Halloween, different holidays, you know, things that they had different sections in their booth. Uh, this one was really cute. Mylar as well. And that one was really nicely put together. And you can see here some flowers and different under the sea type things. I love how the little rainbow borders were put together. I thought those were really nice because the colors kind of coordinated it, but the rainbow kind of made it pop and gave it that interest. This I thought was just hilarious. They did have these quilts that were actual, they, they, they made them like people. And so they have these kind of hanging on the side and it almost kind of had to do a double take because I thought it was just a real person and it actually was a quilt and they had different people kind of lined up there. So it, it was kind of funny because it looked like it was a line of people just waiting to like buy something, but they were actually quilts. And so I thought it was amazing how they individually placed each piece there to, you know, when you step back, you see it, it's the entire picture. It actually looked like a person. So 
it's just amazing. The people are really, really creative out there. And I, I thought that was really cool. Of course, you know, I had to take a picture of Barbie. I mean, it's Barbie, right? <laughs> so I thought this one was kind of cool. Of course, it was in pink and she had some black. So I loved her little glasses with her earrings. Uh, I thought it was really cute. Of course, you know, we're in the Barbie world, right? So <laughs> I thought this was a fun little um, quilt that, you know, they put together. And I thought this was really nice and, and it was well made. This one out was probably one of my favorites. I love the colors on here. It was really amazing the way they put this together. It almost has a little bit of that fallish colors in the background, but then the star to me kind of looks more bluish and has a little bit of pops of color. So it's like it kind of blends the two together and yet the star just really pops. It looks like it's just kind of sitting on top of the quilt even though it's not and it's i think it just looked really amazing this was a really a lot of fun so this one was a company called zebra patterns and they had a set of cards and i thought oh my god this would look so cute if someone had like you know maybe a little man cave or they're into like playing cards and poker and things like that what a great piece to put visually on your wall. I thought this was really amazing. I thought it, it was just so cute. It was really, really big pieces. And you know, you can just kind of make them as wall hangings and put those on a wall. I thought that would be fantastic for anybody who has that type of hobby and they want to kind of, you know, decorate that room. This would be perfect for that. I mean, just look at that and look at the quilting on that. They did the little swirlies in the background. If you can see that, it's it's really neat the way they put this together. Now, this was one of the ones that I did purchase and I kind of showed you guys that um, last week. So this one has the little panels and they're like all the different places that you can go to. So let me just grab that so you can see that again here. They're just all different ones that you can collect. Um, again, this one's called Zebra Patterns. You can get them online as well. Of course, if you go to the expo, you get a little bit of a discount, but these are nice. And these are some ideas that you can make with that, right? So you can do the quilts. You can do, you know, all kinds of stuff with that. You can have them as just wall hangings. But I thought, what a great idea to kind of document all of the different places that you've been to. So like, you know, every time you go on a trip, you know, you, you kind of add on a little bit more. I thought that was really neat. So I started off with just a couple of ones and I'm like, this could be like a quilt that I can continue to work on and just build as I continue to travel and put things on there. So I thought that would be kind of like a little story that you can tell. So I thought that was really, really neat. Okay, so let's continue on here. And this is another display. So this were all the national parks. So someone who's visited all the national parks, they kind of put this together. And I thought that quilt looked really amazing. I love how that middle piece just kind of pops and then you've got all the different places that they visited. I thought those were really, really cool. Then they had some of these other ones here that I thought were really neat. So I went ahead and just took pictures of those. I thought the colors were amazing. These are really neat you're into like plants and things like that these are the threads now this quilt is actually pretty simple to do um i have seen it labeled kind of like a beginner or advanced beginner type project there's different ways that you can do it where you don't have to do the exact points but it's really a lot of just strips put it together and then you have kind of the top and bottom of the the threads so really neat on those, on how you can put these together. I love the little swirly leaves that they put on the top that just kind of added a little bit more to it. 
Now this was a lot of fun. I was here um, at one of the booths and I was trying out the Moxie machine. And this is, has that stitch regulator on top and this is the handy quilter. And it was a lot of fun. I did spend some time talking to them. It's one of my favorite things. Now this is a stand-up quilting machine. So it did have the long frame on there. So you need to have the space for it but it's an amazing machine and oh my gosh had so much fun i may share if we have some time i'll share some video of that so you can see how it's stitched out and you can see that stitch regulator sitting on top tons and tons of fun and there is a side view of it now this one was the bernina machine this is a sewing and quilting machine this is the B790 Pro. It's got a hoop size of 15.7 by 8.3, which is a pretty large hoop size. And it does have a laser built in to kind of help you identify exactly the pieces on there. I really, really loved it. It's a really nice machine. I um, was able to play around with a little bit. Um, yes, hey, Robin, I, I do love the Moxie absolutely love it um but it's it's just amazing if if i had the space i would definitely get one um but the verdina was also great in terms of sewing and quilting i know we talk about multi-liter machine needle machines and flatbed machines but the bernina was really a impressive machine that had a very nice hoop size and a lots and lots of different things on here I was able to snag um, some information on them let me just kind of grab that here so here is the Bernina I'll try to kind of put it down there this is their little pamphlet that they gave and let me try to find the page where you can see it as an embroidery machine now this is a smaller hoop that they have in place, but again, they do, you can do bigger hoop sizes. But amazing that this little machine is kind of a little workhorse. It is really, really beautiful. So it was a nice machine to kind of sit and learn about and test out. And you know, they're pricey they are pricey but it is a beautiful sewing machine very very nice and quilting wise as well really a lot of bells and whistles out there on this and let's see let's go back to the pictures so you see here a little project they had there there's the machine again a b790 nice little machine there now we're getting into a company that i thought did a fantastic job on displaying paper piecing they have these kits and they're called legit kits and they're a paper piecing company based out of oklahoma city oklahoma and they had the packets there now some of those kits were running about 300 400 dollars that's the entire kit with all the paper piecing papers as well as the fabric i mean gorgeous i mean you'll see a couple of more pictures on there it's really beautiful the work that they do absolutely stunning so you can check them out they have a website they sell do sell these online as well but um they also have some smaller ones so it doesn't come out to be such a huge um panel Right, they sell them as a panel, they sell them as a paper piecing kit, um, and they have different sizes as well. So let's flip to the next one. You can see these two here. I was kind of in love with that owl. I thought the owl was just so cool. Really, really loved it. The colors just kind of popped. I, I really love these. These were really on my top list. Really pricey. And for the price that you pay, you better sit down and do that project because it's amazing. And I, I just loved it. Now, some of the packets that they had there was just the, the, the paper piecing papers itself. 
not the fabric was not included so you kind of have to be careful when you look on there and you'll see that online you know just make sure that you know exactly what you're getting because some include fabric some don't um and you, there may be some more things that you have to buy um so just be on the lookout for that but they did have them as a panel as well online let's see and so you see some of them there it is legit kits and you see some of the smaller ones that they had available as well i mean it, amazing these are like little tiny pieces of fabric being sewn together to make these awesome awesome quilts i mean i i thought it was just stunning I mean, look at that. That's, it really catches your eye. This was a quilt that, you know, I loved how this looks. I wanted to give you kind of a close up. Super simple quilt. They are just little squares being sewn together. And you can see how just sewing little squares can really pop and, and, I'll show you a, a kind of wider view of the whole quilt, but just this itself, it's something that's very simple and can be done. This can be a beginner type project. It's just a quilt, but you can see just be, just the coordination of the fabrics and colors that she used on this were really amazing. If we can go to the next one, you can kind of see here, see how that changed like just from one picture to the next now you have the black border that she put around it it really just changes the way the quilt looks and kind of speaks to you you know it's it's just really amazing the way this is it, they were absolutely gorgeous you can do them as small little blocks and then she's got this amazing quilt that she put together and i i just thought it was stunning here's another paper piecing one i thought was pretty cool Ah, this one. This one was probably another one of my favorites. Now, this one, um, it's called, let's see, it's called In the Still of the Night, and it's by Barbara Tat Tatera from Scottsdale, Arizona. Now, this was a black and white challenge. This was one of the ones that was submitted for the contest. Um, the black is the entire um, fabric it's one big cloth and the flowers were cut from wedding lace and they applicate them onto the background and then once they did that all the negative space that was left was filled with butterflies and feathers and the butterflies are with the color called magnifio and that just kind of gave it a shiny trivial polyester type thread and then you can see for the rest of the negative space, she went ahead and she did the feathering quilting in the background. I thought it was stunning. It was really one of my favorite pieces. I thought it was really, really beautiful. And this one is from North Texas Quilt Festival. It's a, like their little rooster. I thought that was a lot of fun. They also had the raccoon which was fun as well that's also north texas quilt festival and this one was called blue agave and i thought it was really neat the use of the colors were really cute and i love the quilting that they did in the background that was gorgeous so here's some more quilts that they had i thought just beautiful a lot of lot of work on that Some of these, you know, different shapes, visual interest, the colors that really pop. This was a fun one. This was from the UK. <laughs> so it's got all that stuff from London, you know, really stunning, nicely put together. Now, this was a vendor called So Light Spectrum Lighting, and I talked a little bit about this last week. They have LED lighting demos that they did. Now their lights range from $25 to $55 and you see them kind of all laid out there. They did, I can tell you just from seeing it, it did give a really nice bright light 
So I like that you can kind of stick them anywhere there. You can get it online as well. Um, but really nice to be able to light that up if you have issues, you know, trying to see if you, maybe the room that you're in is a little bit dark. This is a great little gadget that you can get that would really brighten it up so you'd be able to see better on what you're doing there. And you can see them here. They had a little display. This was a lot of fun. This was a company called Emporium Threads. And they had these really cool bags on display. These bags were like ranging from different things that they, different themes. Like, so they had these little ones that look like little backpacks and the little purse. And they were actual real purses. And the way they used the colors and they kind of put them on display, I thought was really, really fun. And you can see here on this next one, you're going to see these bags. They look like little phones. I thought that was so cute. <laughs> really, really. I don't know if it's as practical, but definitely is a conversation starter on these. I thought they were really, really neat. Something new hadn't seen before. So thought I wanted to bring that over to you. I thought those were really cute. You can see a couple more. And yeah, I wanted to kind of give you that side look. They even had these that look like radios. <laughs> <laughs> All those little boom boxes from back in the day. I thought that was really cute. <laughs> this was a little bug. I thought it was really cute. Little Volkswagen bug. I love you kind of step to the, you know, out a little bit and you see that outer view. Um, and you kind of know it's a bug. And then when you kind of kind of um, go closer to the actual quilt, you can see all the really intricate little pieces that went into the quilt, which was really neat. And here's just kind of a close-up and you can see the list of the little birds and there's flowers. So there's all kinds of things going on there that make up that bigger picture of the car. So I thought that was really neat the way they put that together. That took a lot of planning. And again, we're back here at the Zebra. Uh, oh, I forget the name. Sorry. It was Zebra Patterns. So these are a couple more. And these were some of the ones that I also purchased so I was able to get some of those. I think those are going to be cute little wall hangings to have. Here's some more of those stamps. Again, zebra patterns that you can get. I thought those were really neat. And they have all kinds of different ones, not just places. They also had like Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines. And you can kind of do something like that for someone. I thought that was really cool all kinds of different patterns and they even had the beach <laughs> now we're going to talk a little bit about the little projects that they have so this is a company called suicide and they had these little make and take projects that you can make and this was one of the ones that we did they come in little pattern packs so one of the things i noticed about the expo was vinyl 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 everywhere i mean it was like wow it, it was just vinyl all over the place every booth had something with vinyl in it and i thought it was really neat but you know they had these little projects they're called make and take so they're these little packages that you can purchase and then they have some sewing machines off to the side and it gives you the opportunity to sit with the sewing machine and kind of just you know work the machine see if you like the machine maybe you're interested in purchasing it um, and then you can just go ahead and do the pouch so i did a couple of them and i also bought a couple more to take home with me because i wanted to kind of compare now the machines that we use in the sewing and expo were juki machines and they sewed on the vinyl like butter really thought it was nice the way they put these together the kits were really really neat very simple to do and you know if you wanted to just kind of look at the actual project like you could kind of remake this into fabric as well so let me just open one up it's a very simple little project they put together it just has here's the one piece of vinyl and then you have one side of the zipper that you're going to cut in half. 
right? And then you'll use both sides. But it was nice that it was kind of coordinated with them here. And then you did have a zipper pull that they added. And that's all you need. These three little things. You did use um, double-sided tape. So I did have to take the double-sided tape. I went ahead and I put the double-sided tape on the edges here of the vinyl. Then I took my zipper tape after I cut it in half. I kind of just laid out my zipper tape. And what you're basically going to do is position it onto the double-sided tape so it doesn't move around. And then you just basically take it to the sewing machine and you go ahead and you would sew this all the way around. I'm sorry, we didn't cut this in half. That was a different project. Sorry about that. You actually leave this as one long pull. And so you're just going to go ahead and sew this all the way around. And then once you do that, you just have to go ahead and put your zipper pull on. And that one can be a little tricky if you've never done it before, but it, it, it can be pretty easy. So you would just take your zipper pull and there's two sides of the zipper pull. One is the flat side and then one is kind of like a little smiley face, I guess, right? So you would kind of do the smiley face towards you and then you would kind of angle it get a little piece in there and then you would just do the other side get a little piece in there as well and then once you do that let me just grab that you would just kind of scoot it down with your hand then grab the two ends and then you would just pull and so you have applied the zipper pull so many people buy like zippers by the yard and it's really neat because you're able to kind of mix and match different pulls that you can do now i'm gonna go ahead and just take it off and you see just kind of switch this so if i didn't want this standard um zipper pull there's so many different ones that you can get and i did buy a couple of them that i showed you from last week they have things that you know have visual interest different colors that you can get you know, it's nice to kind of mix and match them because when you do like bags and things like that, it allows you to kind of just show different things. So, you know, I did the little umbrella here. You know, you have a little ship. For those of you that like different shapes and things, they have like almost like a little Dungeons and Dragons type of um, zipper poles here. I thought that was pretty cool. And they have different colors as well. I did get one in silver. And then I also did get a zipper pull that resembles a button. So pretty neat. And you can use these for all types of bags. Or maybe you're going to make a little pouch or something like that. It just, you know, helps to bring a little bit of that visual interest. Some of the other make and take projects that they had was this pencil pouch i'll just take it out and show you guys sorry for the noise on the little plastic here but really really fun you have this vinyl and it comes with the zipper of course and you were able to kind of just pick your little project go to the sewing machine and then go ahead and do the project so it was a lot of fun to do and you know had a lot of fun with the team there and i'm hoping that you know i can get them on um maybe we can do a little collab with them because they were a lot of fun to um kind of talk with there so that this was a great little um projects that they do and they go from different expos all the time so she's always traveling around and bringing her team so thought that was really neat so let's get back to the pictures here so you can see there is one of the patterns that I made and you can see a different one. And this is the sewing machine that I use. This was the Juki TL 2010Q. It was really cute and you know it really sewed well on the vinyl. I can tell you it was a nice little workhorse there. But a lot of fun. Now, this is going back to the Mylar. So this was one of the ones that I actually purchased. I was really in love with these balloons. This is a stunning, stunning little quilt that you can make. It's Mylar embroidery. Really, really gorgeous. 
And, you know, I'm excited to work on this one. It's going to be one of my upcoming projects to do. Again, some more of their mylar These These are the same pattern, just done with different fabrics, different colors, and you can see how everything just changes. Now, this also came with a pattern, so it does come with like a little border that you can do, which I thought was pretty neat. Again, a different display, same pattern. And then we're kind of back to some more quilts that I was able to find. Gorgeous again, these are the squares. Really, really neat. Now, this one was a vendor that had the, it's called Cutter Pillar Edge to Edge Cutting Mat. And I thought it was pretty neat how this lights up and, and I thought this was a good picture because it showed one of the templates that they had. So if you're doing paper piecing or any kind of project that would require you to really need to be able to see well, I loved how this mat kind of just lit up and it's pretty neat. It's pretty neat how it has the cutting mat that you can kind of just go ahead and do your cuts and you can see what you're doing if you're measuring. It'll really show if your ruler is off a little bit. So I thought this one was really, really neat. And of course, we did a class. Um, we went ahead and took a small class. Um, I didn't do go too, too crazy because I wanted to kind of spend time with all the vendors and all the different quilts and things like that. But I was able to take a small class. It was a bag design essentials class. And it was really neat because this was just a, a really, 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 really nice class to do. It was a little advanced, but um, it was with Jamie Horn and she is known as the Cranky Kangaroo. And she does all kinds of different events that she travels along with. And here's a picture of me and her after class. She made this dress. She quilted this dress and wore it for the class. I thought that was really neat. Absolutely amazing. Super sweet lady. Loved taking the class with her. Now, her background, um, she gave a little bit of background on the class. She started off sewing, of all things, fishing bags that's what she would do she did a production line of sewing fishing bags um, and she did that for a really long time and then the company that she was doing them for got sold out um, to uh, Walmart they got like a, a contract with them and so it became very stressful for her to keep up with the amount of fishing bags that they needed and she got really good at doing the fishing bags and she was able to you know bang one out and just you know I forget how many things she said, like 29 seconds or something like that. It was just amazing. Um, but then she went from fishing bags, she went to making wedding gowns, and then she kind of ran into the bridezillas and thought, yeah, I don't think I like doing this either. So then she got into bag making um, and she still does bags today. And she travels around and does um, cruises and all kinds of classes that she gives. So super sweet lady you can check her out i think she's got a facebook page out there um but nice nice projects okay so i think that is all of the pictures that i had for you to share um do have a few um other little things that i can do like videos and these are just kind of some quick little videos that we took so let's see if we can roll those a little bit and this was just kind of a sweep through of some of the quotes that we've seen. And welcome to the Sewing Expo of Lakeland. They had little right contests. Here, you had to kind of vote for which one you thought was the best. And they had different guilds that were there. Absolutely beautiful. Um, and they were able had to, to vote for the one that you like some the of those. best. The detail is absolutely amazing. And that guild um, that I spoke about earlier. Really, really neat. You know, see, so, I mean, the pictures are great, but sometimes the video just shows it a little bit better. And I thought it was pretty neat, you know, just seeing them. I kind of tried not to go too, too fast so you can see a little bit, but it, it was amazing, the stuff they had.
And so they had the happy birthday one. I don't know if I mentioned this one before. I thought that one was pretty cool. You have a little birthday quilt that you can kind of hang out every time it's someone's birthday. <laughs> I thought that was neat. But this one, you know, I just, I love the colors on this one. Really, really neat. This one as well. I mean, I, I could be there for hours and hours just staring at the quilts. They're just really that gorgeous. Just the amount of time and effort that the person has put into this was just amazing. And of course, we can't forget the Barbie quilt. That one's always a lot of fun. <laughs> this one I thought was really nice. The colors on here just went really well together. And you can see here, they actually, it, these are quilted. You know, they, they have pictures of the person. I mean, it's just amazing what people can do. Again, going back to the Mylar. This was another pattern that they had on camping. That was really cute. You can see a little bit of the shine, I think a little bit more on the video than you can on the pictures, but really, really neat. Again, the big poker things. If you have that little poker fan out there, this was a nice little tree skirt that they did have as well. I know Christmas is a little bit far away, but you know, when you get these big projects, you may want to start early. And some of those greenery ones with the animals and the, all the gardening type things, those are nice too. So tons of different guilds that you can get involved with as well. They have them all over. If you're looking for one locally in your area, go ahead and to Google and see um, type in Quilters Guild near me and see what comes up because it's really amazing. So this was me on the Moxie machine, of course, just kind of trying it out and kind of, you know, having some fun on there. And it's just an amazing machine. So, so much fun to do this. You know, this is with the large frame, I believe it was a 10 foot frame, if I remember right. And so it has a regulator as well. So, you know, you can go too fast or too slow and it will not miss a beat on that stitching. The stitching will come out perfect every time. So you can see I kind of go fast and then I kind of slow down and the stitching stays exactly the same. The regulator on this was really amazing. Now this was a embroidery machine that they had there. So I thought it was really nice. Of course, it's a multi-needle on here. Really, really neat. Did a great, fantastic job. And then just a um, quick little video on that paper piecing that you can get. This is again, the legit uh, kits. Really nice. <laughs> I see Topeka, Topeka Atkins says Juki sewing machines is very expensive. Someone needs to raffle. Yeah, <laughs> they are super expensive, but everyone that I know that owns one says it is so worth it. They really, really does a fantastic job. They are industrial machines that will last a very long time. Yeah, and some of these other quilts, I mean, just amazing work out there you know there's truly is so many people you can learn from i mean just talking to everyone there i have learned so many things now this was on the juki itself talking about juki so this was when i was doing the make and take and so i kind of slowed it real down so i can kind of record while i was sewing so <laughs> it was a little difficult but we got it done and you know it's it's really a nice machine Oh my gosh, this was another one of my favorites. So this is the Bernina Q24, another quilting machine. And this was just so cool. They had it on some kind of automated setting. So it was a design that it was quilting out. So no one was actually, you know, pushing the machine around. It was a, a file that it they had downloaded to the machine. And so it was going ahead and quilting that design really really stunning ended up being a beautiful castle in the end i mean this machine was gorgeous really really nice 
and you can see some of the other designs that it made previously. No, oh, Robin says you can get special option to have the computerized quilting on those, but it's a lot more money. Yes, it is. But they're gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So this is going back to that um, cutting the, the cutting board with the light on the bottom. I mean, it, it was pretty pricey. I can tell you that um, I was kind of like, oh, that's kind of a lot of money for, you know, basically a light box with the cutting mat on top. But if it's something that you use a lot, like paper piecing and things like that, then I guess it would be worth it. But you could probably try to do a little hack um, trying to put something together yourself with that. So, you know, it is a nice gadget to have if you can afford that. But it, you know, it can be very, very pricey. And you can see here they're kind of demoing it and showing what it can do and, and how it lights up. And they have different sizes as well. This is one of the larger ones. They did have some other ones that were a little bit smaller for those who have are kind of tight on space. They did have a smaller size to that. And you can kind of see those on the side here. So a nice little smaller size, maybe you want it for travel. That would work as well. And see how the ruler kind of lights up it really shows how you're cutting it and i think that's the smallest size that they have and they were ranging i think the smaller one was a hundred and somewhat dollars um and then going up to like 250 dollars um they did had a rot rot uh, ro rotating one but it didn't light up it was just um the rotating mat but really really neat but that's, that's pretty much it. I mean, it was a ton of things to see. Um, so many more projects that I'm going to be now kind of showing you guys. But I can tell you vinyl, vinyl, vinyl was the one thing that I found everywhere in that place. Um, and, you know, I I'm not wasn't really a fan. But after doing it with the Juki, like I can see, yeah, some of this vinyl is really not that bad. And I like how... The little projects come together pretty quickly and you don't have those raw edges and things like that so i thought it was pretty neat i'm gonna try to see what i can put together to show you guys and we can maybe do some little projects together but that is pretty much it that i had in terms of pictures and videos from the sewing and quilting expo again it was a ton of fun so if you have an expo coming up in your local area be sure to check it out because it is a lot of fun and you can learn a ton and get lots of different perspectives on, on different quilts and things like that that are out there. So I would really suggest it, not just from for an advanced sewer quilter, but also someone who's just starting out because you can get some great tips and ideas out there. So thank you guys all for tuning in. I really appreciate you spending the hour with me. I really enjoyed kind of showing you all the things that I was able to see. And we've got some great projects that are coming up soon. So I hope you'll be able to join me for those. Till then, thank you all for tuning in. And I hope to be crafting with you soon. Bye, everyone. <music>